Hello, this is Wes Hickey, Director of the School of Education at the University of Texas at Tyler. And in this weekly five, I want to talk about the results of the Texas TASB Superintendent Salary Survey. And one of the things that we found is that overall superintendents saw their salaries increase 3.1%. This is up from 2.9% that we saw last year, but obviously it depends on whether you're rural, suburban, urban, uh, but you did have a little more of a salary increase overall for superintendents. Now, what does this mean? Uh, the average superintendent salary in Texas is $148,854, uh, but obviously depends very much on how big the district is. In districts with fewer than 500 students, the average superintendent salary is 97270 And then if you wanted to look at what they would call rural school districts, and, and uh, rural school districts, they look at about 458 of our districts are rural, and so you're probably looking around uh, class uh, places of you know, a thousand or so kids and below is that the uh, average base pay in those was around $102,711. Uh, what we also found is a few things that uh, superintendents have usually been in their current district for four years and they oftentimes uh, have had a move in there and so they've had seven years total experience, but 62% of superintendents have been with only one district. So that's kind of interesting part right there. And then for those that hired last year and about 99 schools that, that submitted the survey hired a superintendent last year, 14% of them hired one with no experience. Now I'll tell you that the superintendent job is nowhere close to the toughest job in schools. I will tell you that I believe that high school principals have the toughest job in the school, followed by middle school principal, followed by elementary principal, followed by athletic director, and then you can probably put the superintendent in there someplace. But an old friend of mine used to say that the superintendent job is that 90% uh, of the time they were overpaid, but 10% of the time there's not enough money for what they have to do. And that's probably true. And remember here at UT Tyler, let us know what we can do and inspire and educate, be an architect of human potential.